Hi, welcome again to Z Code Sports Systems. Here we've developed automated systems to help you win big and win big consistently. So as we approach the end of July, the Major League Baseball season is really heating up as the second half is underway and uh, people, uh, the teams are getting themselves into playoff position. So let's take a look at some of the key matchups for the weekend. Uh, you see here I'm on the VIP club sections. That's where you want to go. I'll just scroll up so you can see where we're at here. If you're not already a member, please join. You can become a VIP club expert. So you can scroll down through here and take a look at some of the games for this week. And the first one I want to look at is the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies. So two of the top teams in the, in the National League East face off. The Atlanta Braves right now you see are burning hot. They have uh, won two out of their last three after coming off a losing streak. So they're back on track now. And the Phillies are currently average. They have won four out of their last six. So if you look at the power rankings indicator, you see that the Braves are at plus 20 and the Phillies are at plus 18. If you look at the totals predictor, you will see that both teams are trending uh, under, the Phillies way under, so it's best to bet the under in games for this uh, series. So now we take a look here at the volatility oscillator, and you can see here that both teams are relatively stable, actually very stable. Braves at plus 28 and Phillies at 20, which means they consistently perform according to their favorite underdog status. So now let's take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator here. So if you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, I like to use this. You can, you, you can put the two teams in here. This is the Braves and the Phillies. Now I'm not going to do this for every matchup just to show you how the tool works. It's really nice. You can put the pitchers in. I put in Mike Soroka and Jake Arrieta. They are scheduled to pitch against each other on Friday. And you go down through here and you see what their pitcher profit margin looks like. You can see here at the bottom, both are profitable. Soraka at plus 700, Arietta at plus 1,027. So you can see the edge in this matchup goes to uh, Arietta by a margin of 327. So it's a real nice tool to see uh, which pitcher is the best one to bet on for that particular uh, game. So in general here, I'm thinking that the Braves have the edge, but the Phillies are playing at home. So I'm thinking the Braves will probably win the series two games to one, but don't be surprised for the Phillies to win. So it might be uh, a nice uh, bet if, you, if you're looking to bet on an, on an underdog upset for the Phillies to uh, win the series. Take a look down here now at the Dodgers and the Nationals. The Dodgers right now are average up. They have won their last three and four of their last six. The Nationals are average. They are three and three over their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you see that the Dodgers come in at plus 27 and the Nationals at plus 21. The Nationals on more of an upward trend. Take a look here at the totals predictor if you're considering the over and under in the series. Well, if you look here, the Dodgers are playing in games trending over. The Nationals are playing in games trending well under. So it may be best to avoid the over under. Or if you do consider the over under real seriously, it might be a good gamble to pick the under because strictly because the Nationals are playing in games that are so far under might be the best way to go. If you look at the volatility oscillator, you will see that both teams are very stable, so they're both performing uh, pretty well as their favorite underdog status indicates. Again, I like to look at the uh, pitchers, the pitching matchups. If you look at the pitching matchups, the best bet for the Dodgers is Clayton Kershaw on Saturday at plus 12.16 on the pitcher profit oscillator. The worst bet for the weekend is the Nationals' uh, Anibal Sanchez at minus 2,203 on Friday. The Dodgers have the best team in the National League. I give them a slight edge overall, but the Nationals have been playing better ball lately over the last month, month and a half. Don't be surprised if the Nationals, being at home, take the series two games to one. Taking a look at another matchup for the weekend. As you scroll down the list, this is a good one. The Yankees and the Red Sox, a classic battle in the AL East. The Yankees are in first place, the Red Sox are in third. The Yankees have lost their last two and are average down. The Red Sox have won four out of their last six, two out of their last four, and they are average right now. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that both teams are trending downward a bit. The Yankees still are very solid at plus 27. The Red Sox have dropped off a lot just over the past you know, a couple of days. They're down to plus 14. If you take a look here at the totals predictor, considering the over and under, well, the Yankees are playing in games trending under, as you see with the red line compared to the blue line. And you can see for Boston, they're playing in games trending over. So since they are on opposite sides of the line, it's probably best to avoid the over-under in games for this series. 
If you look at the volatility oscillator, you will notice here that the Yankees are really stable at plus 30. Red Sox relatively stable at plus 11, but it shows that the Yankees are performing more consistently as their favorite underdog status indicates. The Yankees have the uh, their best bet for the weekend on the mound is Domingo German at plus 363 on Sunday. Eduardo Rodriguez is at plus 1,279. He's their best bet for the Red Sox on Saturday. Chris Sale is the worst bet, surprisingly, at minus 1,027 on Sunday. Overall, I feel like the, the Red Sox will take advantage of playing at home, win two out of three games of the series, and cut into the Yankees' lead just a bit. Okay, as we go down through here to take a look at another matchup, we have a couple more that I want to examine. The Cubs and the Brewers are in the NL Central. These two teams are battling for the top spot. The Cubs hold a two-game advantage over the Brewers in the division, as the Brewers are currently in third. The Cubs are burning hot, but they have lost their last two, but they were four, one fourth of their last six. If you look at the Brewers, the ice cold down. They have they lost their last game, but they're actually winners of four out of their last six. If you look here at the power rankings indicator, you will see the trend here. The Cubs are down to uh, plus 20. The Brewers are up here now at plus 24. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, well, the Cubs are playing in games well under the line. The Brewers are playing in games over the line. Best to bet, best to avoid the over under in this series because they are trending on opposite sides of the line. If you look at the team volatility oscillator, which I always like to do, you can see that the Brewers are not performing consistently at all. They're at zero. So uh, take their favorite underdog status with a grain of salt. Don't really consider it very much when betting on games in this series. If you look at the pitching matchups, the worst. Uh, bet for the Cubs is Jose Quintana on Friday at minus 683 on the pitcher profit oscillator. Brandon Woodruff is the best bet for the whole weekend series on sun, or Saturday. excuse me. For the Brewers, he is at plus 885. I look for the Brewers to take care of uh, games at home. They will not sweep, but they will win too and get even closer to the Cubs in the division. So we want to take a look at one more matchup for the weekend. And the matchup is down here. We have the Astros and the Cardinals, two teams that are burning hot at the moment. As you see here, the Astros are on a winning streak. They have won, uh, let's take a look here. It's not coming up. Uh, there we go. They've won their last six. You can see the last one a blowout over uh, Oakland, 11 to 1. And the Cardinals have won five out of their last six. So this should be a great weekend series. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Astros are up here at plus 29. And Cardinals here are going up and down a bit, but they're back up here to plus 18. Totals predictor, considering the over and under, well, let's take a look who we should bet on this one. Well, the Astros are trending in games under. The Cardinals are trending in games other. So it's a perfect opportunity to bet on this, bet the under for the games in this series. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator, see how stable the teams are. You can see the Astros are really stable at plus 31, performing very consistently as their favorite underdog status indicates. The Cardinals are not there at minus two. So pretty much ignore the Cardinals' uh, favorite underdog status when placing bets on games in this series. The best pitching matchup is Sunday's matchup, Jared Cole versus Dakota Hudson. Cole is at plus 919 on the pitcher profit oscillator, and Hudson is, pu is plus 576. So I believe that overall for the series, Houston, even though they're playing on the road, I believe Houston has the edge. They're the, just the better team overall. I think they will come away with the series win two games to one. So before we go here, I want you to take a look at something. Uh, we have a new uh, system here for the power rankings. It's really, really very nice what we have here. So you can see the new layout of the power rankings. You can select the, the sport. We have MLB regular season. We have all different kinds of sports, baseball, basketball. As you see, we can scroll down through here, NBA, MLB. Since we're talking about MLB, we can take a look at this real quick. You can see how it shows the current rank. It has the status. It has the, the last six games streak, the current uh, standing in sports range. It's really great, and it shows an upward or downward trend. You can see right now Houston's at the very top. But just scrolling down through the list, you see down at the bottom right now is the Detroit Tigers. So it's really good. It's not necessarily means who is the best team at the moment, but it shows the, the trends, you know, how, how they're playing right now. And it's really, it's really very good tool to use. That should help you with some of your bets. So there you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Happy betting this week. And remember to come back next week. And if you're not already a member, 
Please join up so you can win big and win big consistently. Have a great week.